Hello world, Liu here, and today let's create a full stack application that uses Vue as a front end and Google Sheets as the back end. So if you're new here, I'm a software engineer from Singapore, and I create content that aims to bring your Python skills to the next level. Now back to the video. So let's first talk about how this works. So here, this Vue app is our front end, and this Google Sheets is our back end. So our front end will make a HTTP request to Google Sheets, and Google Sheets will simply return whatever data is inside back to our front end and our front end will display them. So it is as simple as that. So next you might ask, but why no real backend? Why do you not use Python Fast API or Python Fast? So here the main consideration is time. So I need to create this app very fast and I do not have that much extra time to spend to create this application. Also, the admin is okay with updating Google Sheets data. So this just means that he updates whatever data he has using Google Sheets and this will reflect in real time in the application. Also, the users that use this only have read-only access. So here, only the admin has access to the Google Sheets data, and the users do not have any access. So the users can only read. So one real example of this that I've actually done is a room rental application. So what's happening here is the landlord, which also happens to be my dad, needs a simple application to show a bunch of property agents what room he has available. So the landlord here will update all the available rooms on Google Sheet and the property agents, which are the users, just need to read the data from the site. So as for the steps, we first create some data on Google Sheets, and afterwards, we use Google Apps Script, I'll get to that in a second, to create a HTTP endpoint. And afterwards, we create a simple view app, and we use HJOS in the front end to call the HTTP REST endpoint that is provided by Google Apps Script, and we deploy this to Netlify, which happens to be free. So let's get started. So first, I'm going to create a Google Sheet. So I'm just going to create a new one here. So let's say I'm going to create an application to list a bunch of rooms. So I'm going to have room ID. I'm going to have rent. And I'm going to have, let's say, location. So let's say the room ID is going to be 1 Avenue 0101. And rent is going to be, let's say, $1,000. And location is going to be somewhere. So here, let's just create a bunch of test data. So one avenue. So I'm just going to call this room test. So here, assume that we have some data here. And next, we need to use Google Apps Script to create a endpoint. So to do that, we first go to extensions and we click on this thing, Apps Script. So clicking on this will bring us to the Apps Script editor. And you're going to see something like this. So App Script is based on JavaScript and we can use it to add additional functionality to our Google Sheets, Google Docs, and so on. So in our function, I'm just gonna do this first. Return content service dot create this thing, JSON, stringify, and I'm gonna create a JavaScript object constant output is equals to a list. Let's say apple is one, orange is two, or whatever. So let's just create some dummy data first. And here we set mime type. So set mime type. And here we have content service again. Dot mime type dot JSON. So here we are just going to create a dummy endpoint. So I'm going to deploy. So deploy, then we go to new deployment. And here we select web app. So description, I'm just going to leave it blank. And here we have anyone. So I'm going to deploy. And after it's done loading, we are going to have this URL. So here we can copy this URL and we can paste it in our browser. So this will give us a JSON file. Script not found to get. So let's so let's change this to do get. And let's redeploy. So new deployment. Same thing, anyone has access and I deploy again. So let's copy this and let's try again. So there's nothing. Oh, forgot to add the out here. So let's deploy again. So whenever you need to update your script, you just need to new deployment and you just deploy. So copy and let's paste it here and we should get out. And here we have it, Apple 1 and Orange 2. So now that we have successfully enabled ourselves to call this, let's make it return something meaningful. So let's get rid of this. And here we have const doc is equals to spreadsheet app. So all of this so all the documentation to this stuff will be linked down below. So get active 
spreadsheet. And let's deploy once again. So new deployment and ensure everything is in order. Anyone has access and deploy. So after it's done, let's copy this and let's put it in our browser once again. So now we should have more stuff. And here we have room ID, rent type, and all of the data. So notice that all of this data is actually from our Google Sheets. So here if I add a bunch of other stuff, so that's description. So anyway, let's call this once again. I'm just simply going to refresh and I'm going to get more stuff. So at this point, notice that whatever we put in our Google Sheet is actually reflected in real time in our API. So next, let's actually format our output properly. So out push row and we return out instead. So here I'm going to deploy, new deployment and similarly, anyone has access and deploy. So it's done, we copy this and we paste it here. So now I should see a more formatted output. And here we have it, room ID is this thing, rent is this thing, type is this thing, that description is Apple, status is occupied. And here we have four rows, each corresponding to one row minus the header in our data. So now that we have this, we can copy this and put it in our view app. But first, we need to create a view app, so let's do that. So here I'm in my terminal and I'm going to create a view app. So here I'm at viewjs.org and I'm just simply going to use this. So npm create view at latest. So yes, project room test. So and after everything is done, we simply cd into our room test and we open Visual Studio Code. So it's going to look like this. So in SRC, there's going to be a bunch of stuff. So app is going to be here and I'm going to open the terminal. So I'm going to npm install or i. And after I do that, I should have a bunch of node modules. So a whole bunch of stuff, but let's not deal with that. And afterwards, I can npm run dev. So 5173, let's come here. And we have our view app. So first, let's get rid of all this default stuff. So router home about, let's get rid of about. You did it, let's get rid of this. So the welcome mean. So let's have hello world. Let's see how our app looks. And here we have it. So first, let's get rid of some of the default styling. So I said base CSS, let's delete everything. And main CSS, let's also delete everything. So here now, our app looks like this. So let's get rid of the view logo too. So let's go to app.js and let's get rid of this view logo over here. So now we should only have hello world and home. Let's add this back. Let's add this back. Let's delete everything here. So something like this. So all of this stuff, we can deal with the styling later. So next, we create a new terminal and we install pictures. And in our home view, we have script and we have template. So we can put CSS later. So let's deal with the styling later. So import the welcome. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to import Xjuice from Xjuice. So I'm going to run this and let's see if anything breaks. So inspect panel. So let's go to console. Nothing is breaking. Very good. So next, I'm going to make something happen on mounted. So in view, on mounted just means that when the page loads, I'm going to make something happen. So here, I'm going to import on mounted from view. And here, I'm going to on mounted, open and close bracket. And inside, we are going to insert a function. So open and close bracket, arrow to this thing. And first, we are just going to console log. So this uh, runs from on mounted. So if I rerun this, I should get hello world. And this runs from on mounted. So let's get rid of the console log and we can use Xjuice here. So here, Xjuice.get and we need a URL. So here, const URL is equals to this thing over here. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put it here. So a bunch of other stuff, but let's just put it here. So get, then, so data is console log data. So let's see what happens. Let's wait a while. And here we have it. We have 
config data and the data will have our Google Sheet data. So next, let's actually set some stuff. So next, we also want to import reactive. And here, let's put this const state is equals to reactive. And here we put, let's say, rooms is equals to empty list. So after this data dot data, we are going to get our rooms. Let's double check this. Let's refresh. Let's wait a while. And here we have our four rooms. So let's set state dot rooms as this. So state dot rooms is equals to data dot data. And let's console log state dot rooms. So let's run this again. And we should still get our rooms in a while. And here we have it. So target is going to be our rooms. So at this point, we have successfully called the backend endpoint from our front end. So let's get rid of hello world. So let's simply put, I don't know, let's put rooms. And here let's display our data as a bunch of divs. So let's say I have a div. And here I have a v4 is equals to room in state room. And key is equals to room dot room ID. Okay. So here I'm just going to put room dot room ID. And if I run this, let's see what I get. And here we have it. One avenue, one avenue, one avenue, and one avenue. So next we can make more stuff happen. So let's add a class room container. And afterwards I'm gonna add a style here. So this is where we put our CSS. So room container. So let's say background color is light gray. So let's see what happens. And we have margin bottom is, I don't know, 16 pixels, I guess. And here we have it. So we have room ID, we have ren type, description, and status. So room dot ren, and we have room dot type, room dot what else? Description and status. So description and status. Room rent, room type, room description. Whoops. Room dot status rather than just a status, and we should get everything. So here we have successfully loaded data from our Google Sheets to our app. So let's say I add more stuff. So if I add one more thing here, let's refresh, and we should have five lines now. And here we have it. We have property, which is missing a Y. And we have 10,000 studio durian and occupied. So here, notice that whatever change we make will be reflected in our application. So next, we need to deploy this to Netlify. So before we can do that, we need to actually put this in a GitHub repository. So I'm going to go to my GitHub. So I'm going to create test, test, test. So I'm going to make this private and create repository. And here, I just need to follow this stuff to get my code into this repository. So git init, so let's do that. Git init, git add readme, blah, blah, blah. So git status, git add, I'm gonna add everything. So if I git status again, everything will be green. So git commit dash m, add stuff. And the important part is this, git remote add origin. So git blah, blah, blah. And git push origin, hit. So after this, I shall refresh and we should get the code inside. And here we have it. So after we do this, we can go to Netlify. So Netlify. So this thing. So here I'm going to go to Netlify and I'm going to add a new site. So import from existing project and deploy with GitHub. So here let's deploy my project. So test, test, test. And here we have this. So site name, blah, 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 deploy branch will be master. Let's double check. So git status, am I in master? Yes, I'm a master. So npm run build, which is correct. Publish directory is this, is correct. And deploy. And it should automatically deploy. So here is published. So let's go and check it out. So site configuration, we are Visual chokes ddd 537 and So if you come to this, we will get rooms and we should get our rooms in a bit. And here we have it. One avenue, blah, blah, blah. And we have all our rooms.
So here, if we add a bunch of more stuff, so let's add, let's copy this, let's say three more times, and let's save. And let's go to here and we refresh, we should have eight rooms. One, two, three, four, yes, there's more rooms now. So here, whenever your admin needs to make a change, he simply needs to do it through Google Sheets and he can do whatever he wants here. And it will reflect in your deployed application. So once again, thanks for watching and hopefully this was clear and easy to understand. See you in the next one.